to hear about Wodemeyer. It was way back in time. You understand me? And a great Pan-African thinker by name, Africa Tukufi Nkrumah, you know, the man goes to boom and say, Lagazi, do you know this gentleman by name, Wodemeyer? I was like, wait, who is Wodemeyer? And then Africa too was like, Lagazi, you mean you are in Ghana and you don't know about Wodemeyer? I said, who is Wodemeyer? Is he a Nigerian? He was like, yo, you, you need to get weapons, man, Lagazi. Lagazi, what am to you? Now, he, be, he, he was like, Lagazi, you have to check him out. He's been doing this, that, so he started sending me videos. And Africa took off in Krumah is all the way in the Czech Republic. You know what I mean? And he said to me that, well, you know, me and Woody Meyer, we've exchanged a few, you know, emails here and there and all that and all that. And I'm like, really? He said, yes. I'm like, all right. So for, it was from there. I started, you know, following Woody Meyer, you know, looking at the works and all that. And for a gentleman, you know, like him to put himself down to, you know, to be promoting Africa to the world. I'm like, well, who, who does that? You understand me? He said, my job is, let me promote Africa. Let me put Africa there. I'm like, wow. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this was how I got to know about Woody Meyer via Africa to Kofi in Kruma. Father, anywhere you find yourself, big respect to you for introducing me to this gentleman sitting right in front of me. Now, before we even talk about anything, let's start to talk about your top five all-time reggae songs. What yeah. exactly informed that, Woody Meyer? So... Ken Lagazi? Yes, I It's a brother. pleasure seeing you again. <laughs> <laughs> and now this time we're running in Ghana. <laughs> in Ghana. <laughs> Not in Jamaica. No, sir. <laughs> so, personally, I love conscious music. I love yeah. music that tells a story. I love music that when you listen to it, mm -hmm. you definitely know that it tells you something. Mm -hmm. I mean, giving you one love, telling us that it's about time for us to come together, love yeah. one another. Yeah. Giving you a buffalo soldier, knowing that we all, as black people, we all came from Africa. I don't know mm -hmm. if you were in Jamaica. At some point, you meet Jamaicans, I would tell you that, no, I have no connection with the motherland. Yeah. But Bob Marley was singing about it. So sometimes I want to amplify it. Yeah. I mean... Just listen to Bob Marley's song and yeah. you definitely know where you're coming from. Of course. So, my top five is songs that has a message to spread. That's it. You see, emancipate yourself from mental slavery. slavery. I mean, we th we are thinking that slavery is over. No. You know, Kwame Nkrumah spoke about neocolonialism mm -hmm. and that is what is happening in Africa right now. So, it's about time for Africans to get rid of that colonial mindset. I mean, we still have it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> colonization is not over so when you listen to songs like this i mean even our national anthem talks about it i don't know if um, Ghanaians really understand the national anthem mm -hmm. if you go the later part of the national anthem is it oh my goodness uh, the, the latest part of the national anthem i don't know if you have the Ghana national anthem. and help us to resist oppressors rule with all our will and might forevermore yeah. So it's about time. I mean, Kwame Nkrumah and the rest, they fought with everything. But we cannot fight again with everything. We have to fight with the mind. So I believe that songs like this are songs that emancipate the mindset. And it's about time for Africans to start listening to songs like this. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're live on Asasi 99.5 in Accra. Easy. Yep. 98.5 in Kumasi. Easy. 100.3 in Cape Coast. Easy. And 99.7 in the Northern Region, Tamale. Easy. The statistics shows that over 30 million people are in tune right now listening to us. Easy. And our guest in the studio is the great one, Woody Meyer. Easy. Yep. <laughs> wow. Let me, let me highlight again on the top five reggae songs. Yeah. You see, our reggae industry is suffering in Ghana. Mm. Seriously. Mm. So when I, I got a list, I'm like, you know, if 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 I should know best, if from the Western region, yep. we have artists like Shasha Mali from there. He's got some beautiful reggae songs and all. And I'm like, if I told a talk, <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, 
Let me let me tell you something. Tell Kevin me. Nazi. Tell me, my brother. So when I went to Jamaica, yeah. it actually did something to me. Even yeah. though I was here, yeah. but I was not a big fan of reggae music. Okay. Right. But when I found myself in Jamaica, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I mean, Jamaica is the home of reggae music. Mm -hmm. So you know what I did? Mm -hmm. my, I mean, my wife loves reggae music. All right. If I brought my wife here, she could sing every reggae song. Wow. Right. But when I got to Jamaica and I started listening to reggae music, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I've been missing a lot. Mm -hmm. But you know, all these songs that I gave it to you, I know the songs, but I don't even know some of the lyrics. Wow. But then I took my time to listen to the lyrics, and I'm like, my goodness, this song actually preaches a message. But for Shasha Mali, I mean, coming from Takradi, one of um, Shasha Mali's songs that we all know is Mata. <laughs> you know, and I believe that Crazy. it's Mata, Trey Mata, Fish. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. But I, I mean, Probably he got some beautiful songs. Yeah. I, I'm here to check it out, but the, the one that came out of the box that yeah. we all know growing yeah. up was Mata. Crazy. <laughs> oh, I mean, has he explained the word Mata trade and things? Oh, oh, oh of course. It, oh. it said it's, it's, it's family. Oh, it's wow. got Mata Fish and all these people them where, you know, long time, you know, he used to trade with them and, you know, choose some kind of ways he lost contact with them so he was trying to put a message out there okay. for people to know that all right he missed all those people and if anybody you know has an idea in terms of where they are they could reach out back to him but you know what i will have a request before i leave you i would love to know some ghana reggae artists if we have so that i can be able to check them out man ah uh, all right all right so let's quickly deal with that mm. we have black rasta we have neil Ante. I don't know Neil Ante. You don't know Lina, Neil Ante? I know Black Rasta. Big shout out to Black Rasta. All right. <laughs> we have Rocky Dawini. But Rocky, you know, yeah. Rocky Dawini is more like, um, how do I call it? He, he's more out there mm -hmm. than in here. Yeah. You, you get it? So, I mean, I have used the songs in my videos before, but mm -hmm. it's more like preaching about Africa. But, mm -hmm. I mean, gra Grammy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, he took us to the Grammy with a full body of works. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 No, he's doing an incredible job. But, of course. I mean, if you ask me even one song of Rocky Darwin, I don't think I'll be able to. But, I mean, henceforth, I'll just uh, pay attention to it. Uh, uh, right? Yeah. So, uh, you don't know about Neil Ante? No. Well, do you know about Osajifu? Osajifu. Osajifu. <laughs> <laughs> the only Osajifu that I know is Dr. Kwame <laughs> Krumah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, freedom uh, 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 Freedom Jacob Caesar yeah uh, 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 he's also called Osajifu Osajifu right yeah. but this is Osajifu the simple entertainer wow yeah he's got a lot of conscious you know songs no I, I would love to because right now as I sit here that's mm. the only thing that I do right now conscious music so I because I want to educate myself about Africa, black people in general. So if you have songs like that, please. I mean, that's why we're best friends right oh, now. Of so. <laughs> <laughs> now. Now, yeah. you, you know, there is there is one thing that I need you to look into yeah. because Black Rasta says it's about time for us as Africans, yeah. you know, name our reggae. And he's come up with this name by name Kuchoko. So all his reggae is known as the Kuchoko reggae. That's beautiful, man. You know what I mean? And that invention, I think, is, is, is top-notch. You know what I mean? And then, when he saw the flyer that I was going to talk to Woody Meyer, he said, Lagazi, you know, talk to Woody Meyer so that at least me and him can reason about this Kuchoko thing and how I came up with all this thing, my research and all that. Hmm. Because, you know, Woody Meyer is one guy who is also interested in some of these things. He yep. said, all right, don't say a word, man. Please. Again, Rocky Dauni says, our reggae should be called you know, um, Afro roots. You understand me? Listen to this. So we have Kuchoko reggae, and then we have Afro roots. And mind you, Rocky Dauni took us to the Grammys with a full body of works, with his album, Branches of the Same Tree. And when you listen to those reggae songs, Bredrin, it it, it's, it's, it's so huge. You know what I mean? Yep. So it tells you that Ghanaians, we have something. But it's like, we don't have the mouthpiece to echo it out there for us. And that is why we have man like Woody Meyer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love the name Kuchoko. Kuchoko. You know, Kuchoko definitely, I mean, got its roots from the motherland, from Ghana. And if you say Afro roots, if you use the word Afro roots, it's more like a 
Fante Beke, you brothelize it. <laughs> you brothelize it. <laughs> so, so if if we can work on Kuchoko, cool. that would be beautiful, man. Sounds from the motherland to the world. All right. I would like to say big respect to the G.O.D. He's in tune. And uh, anywhere you find yourself, Godfather, I don't know. Love, 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 love. Big hey. shout out to G.O.D., man. Yeah, see. We, 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 we've never spoken in person. Yeah. But I know he follows me on Twitter. Of course. Of yeah. Course. yeah I, know, I know he checks out what I do. Don't yeah. worry. I'll run the meeting. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> So, uh, what am I? Yeah. Let's let's put the reggae thing, you yeah. know, on hold a bit, and come to you in person. Yeah. If we talk about Woody Maya, now it's like the whole Ghana is because we are we are on four radio stations across the country. The people wow. in the northern region are listening to you. You understand me? And the people on Facebook are also viewing you live. Thank you understand? You. We have a lot of countries. Any any anywhere any country you are, please put in the flag so that I can see it and know that Ara, you are from Hungary, you are from Kenya, you are from Liberia, you are from US, you are from the UK. Easy. Let's talk about Woody Meyer now. Yeah. If you talk about Woody Meyer, who are you and what you know the parents you were born to? How how would you describe them for us? So basically, Wadamaya is <laughs> just an annoying village boy on a journey. <laughs> More like a man on a mission. <laughs> I sometimes don't even want to call myself a YouTuber or a Facebooker. I'm just a man on a mission. And <laughs> the mission is to change the negative narrative of Africa. I was born in Ahim Kofi Krum. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard of it. It's <laughs> in Takradi, uh, Ahim Kofi in the western region of Ghana, uh, by Charles Kofi Hayford. <laughs> That's my father's name and my mom, Margaret Ansan. Okay. So both parents, dad is no more, but uh, mom is still alive. Um, yeah, born in a very humble home. Uh, being a pastor's son, my father was a pastor. So you see, like, I carried the grace from childhood. Hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Preach on. I the grace from childhood. And um, I think the values that my father um, transferred to us is what I have right now. I mean, growing up, I saw my dad coming from church, and you see him not wearing shoes, and you ask him, you went to church with shoes. Why are you coming home without shoes? And he would tell you that I didn't need a shoe. I saw somebody on the street, and he needed it, so I gave him. So it's that thing that I saw my dad and that's how is what I shape in my life today so if you if you want to know who what am I is I think what am I is a replica of his dad that's it wow <laughs> yeah wow yeah I mean my dad would never come out be like I'm what am I and I would never come out to say that hey my name is what am I I'm the biggest no, I'm not interested mm -hmm. I'm just interested in the impact that I make in the society I'm just impacted in the I'm just interested in the impact I make in people's life that's what my father was all about I mean he he was just a simple man so yeah he gave birth to a simple boy and it is what it is at this very moment so simple and short just I am me and just a simple boy from Ghana all right. Yeah. Now, this is a message from the G.O.D. <laughs> Me want you listen carefully. Okay. All right. He said, tell Wodemaya, he went to Guyana and did not visit the Ghana Chamber of Commons I set up in Guyana. <laughs> Why? <laughs> listen. Yeah. I, 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 see, I, G.O.D. wants me to go to, uh, what do you call it, uh, the Ghana Chamber and Commons. Yeah. I did not go there because he did not invite me. I mean, I am just looking at how can Ghana embrace what I do mm -hmm. to make impact? Because listen, I was invited by the president of Guyana. Wow. Invitation. Yeah. Tell, 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 tell G.O.D. Yeah. The president of Guyana yeah. called me mm -hmm. to go to his what? His house. Yeah. I was there. Yeah. His birthday party, his, his father's birthday party, I was there. Mm -hmm. But guess what? G.O.D., I mean, has my number, yeah. but never said, oh, I saw Maya in Guyana. Why not just invite what Maya to Chamber of Commerce? And I would gladly go because it's more like I'm willing to serve the country, but the country is not willing to use me. I mean, I was in Kenya. My wife is from Kenya. I was in Kenya and Ghana. What do you call it? Ghana was launching made in Ghana products mm -hmm. in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Guess what? I didn't even know. Mm -hmm. I just got a call from Christina, uh, Christina Fiku. Mm -hmm. like, hey, are you in Kenya? I'm like, I'm here, but I'm leaving. Mm -hmm. To tell you the truth, I got there and all the products, everyone that was there mm -hmm. came to me. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> but this is something that you're trying to sell to Kenyans that you know that Maya is here. And if Maya say a word on it, <laughs> it will go everywhere. Definitely. But the country is like, no way. You know, because I'm not a politician. I'm not a big fan of uh, politics. I mean, my father is not into the political game. But I'm just telling you that we've built a brand and the brand is support Africans. And Africans are ready to support whatever I say. Like... If I tell people today mm -hmm. that King Legacy is selling soap, yeah. because I'm the one saying it. Definitely. I, 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 check the statistics. <laughs> <laughs> check the statistics. What the fuck? <laughs> so I'm ready for the invitation. I know like um, Guyana and Ghana is mm -hmm. doing a lot together. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, His Excellency Ali, I respect him a lot. I, I appreciate the invitation that he gave. And I think the interview that I did with him also did uh, extremely well on the internet. So, yeah, if he invites me, I'll go. I know he has a very good relationship with the president of Guyana. So, mm -hmm. yeah, anytime, any day. All right. Yeah. <laughs> You're ready? I'm ready. <laughs> so, G-O-D. That father. The man say I'm ready. I'm ready. Anytime like Sunday morning. <laughs> the man say I'm ready, man. So, yeah, man. Yeah. Anytime. 34 gone into the R2. Easy. On the yard settings on Assassin Radio. My name is King Lagazi. My guest is the great Woody. Maya, yeah, and trust me, we're about to go deeper into his life. So, how was your growing up like? Whoa, um, I, I, I wouldn't say I had a soft life, <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was pretty hard because uh, my mom was a kinky seller, mm -hmm. so selling kinky. A big shout out to my two senior brothers. Um, mm -hmm. one of them used to sell the kinky in the morning before he goes to school. And my, the one that I follow was extremely shy, so he always stay in the house to sell the kinky. And for me, when I come back from school in the evening, that's where like we go out in the evening to sell the kinky. Mm -hmm. I mean, at some point, if anyone who attended Westridge, you can really remember that I came to school with torn uniforms. I used to go to school with Uncle Sam. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know Uncle Sam bag. And I, I can't remember a classmate of mine recently called me and said, you know what, I'm so proud of you. And I'm like, what do you what, what do you mean by that? He said, dude, like we all saw how you you won an award mm -hmm. and your school uniform was torn. And when you were coming to stage, we all cry, we all like kind of laugh at you. Mm -hmm. And then to the extent that they did not give me the award on the stage, mm -hmm. they brought the award to my classroom. Wow. So I decided to go back to the school, pay for uniform for kids from the school, but I was told that the government is taking care of that. So I ended up buying bags for the student because I could not afford a school bag. Wow. So this is my guy, classmates. So mm -hmm. if I'm saying Eugene Abaka Blanks, I can mention them because sometimes when you start telling people about your stories, people don't believe it. So Eugene Abaka Blanks in Takradi, if you are listening to me, you know what I'm saying. You can testify that I, I once came to school with a torn uniform and you, you, you can testify. I mean, a big shout out to a brother from, um, he lives in Germany right now. Mm -hmm. His name is Sani Mohammed. Mm -hmm. This is the guy that we used to swap food. Mm -hmm. You know what you mean by swap food? So my mom being a kinky seller, yeah. I was just tired of eating kinky in the morning. <laughs> and when you are going to school, they still give you kinky. You come back home, you come and eat kinky. So yeah. this guy, the mom was selling wachi. Mm -hmm. So he goes to school with wachi, and guess what? He's also tired of eating wachi. Wow. So we planned that, hey, when I'm coming to school, I'll bring you the kinky. I give you the kinky. You give me the watchy. Wow. We did that till we graduated. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. <laughs> and uh, it, it was it was really nice us linking up again in Europe, Germany. When um, I recently went to Germany, we met again and we had a great time, man. But, yeah. All right. We give thanks and praise to the Almighty. Everything good and everything is all right. Oh God. Oh God. So. Um, hmm. all right, hey, <laughs> <laughs> did, did GOD respond? <laughs> <laughs> so, so GOD says, I said it, I know, I, I know that was a response from GOD. <laughs> you know, um, I should give you his, 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 his number, okay? You understand? Because you know, man don't use one line for too long, you know what I mean. So he said he's your biggest fan. Oh, wow. Thank you. You know, he check you out almost all the time. And also, he would like to say big up for your positive global, you know, vibration for Africa and global Africa. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah man, yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and man like G.O.D., trust me, the man don't ramp, man. You understand me? Mm. Yeah, man. He, he set up the African um, Prosperity Network. Yeah, when he gave the award to the president of Guyana. I'm, a, I'm aware of all of oh. that. T tell G.O.D. that <laughs> I don't talk, yeah. but I know everything he does. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. You know, like he awarded um, Mr. Mwale. Mm -hmm. I think the guy building a city in Kenya. Mm -hmm. um, I think I did a story on the man. Mm -hmm. He gave him an award. I, I asked him. I, I know he's listening, so he knows what I'm saying. Nice. Um, with all the people that he gave them award, uh, I'm, I'm definitely in touch with most of them. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right. So, Maya, growing up, going to school, swapping, you know, food, you know, kenke with wache and all that kind of thing, you know. And now you are here. Tell me, how how, how does the feeling look like? You know, going through all this, and today you are here, and the whole world, everybody is 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 kind of, you know, I'm um, following you. You know, like anything you say, people follow it and all that. How does it feel for a young man like yourself? I. It doesn't really get to me mm -hmm. because I always wake up and be like, what's next? Um, I, I don't even, if you don't tell me how many people are following me, I won't be able to tell you. Because one, I don't see the numbers and I don't want to lose track. You know, sometimes when you see how people love you, you're going to have swollen head and you'll be like, oh, I've made it. You know, but for me, I'm very grounded and I'll be like, you know what? The goal is to impact in people's life. And that is what I always want to work hard towards. And uh, the most important thing for me is like coming from the village and where I am, mm -hmm. it always reminds me to stay humble. And man, I've been, I've been poor before, yeah? <laughs> 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 uh, I, know, I know what it feels like for somebody to tell you that, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. I come at the one because you, you're hungry. So I don't want to go back. So I don't want... I mean, misuse what I have right now, but take advantage to build wealth for myself and mm -hmm. for the family and also stay humble. That, I mean, the most important thing for me, knowing where I'm coming from, mm -hmm. Charlie, always stay humble. All right. I'd like to find out from you. Um, do you have any idea of how Africa, you know, was promoted before the, in, um, before the internet age? I, I think... A big shout out to Marcus Garvey once mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. I feel like Marcus Garvey was a vlogger, but people didn't know. Mm -hmm. He was more like a blogger because he had a newspaper company, the, the Black Star Shipping Line, mm -hmm. where he was still preaching about Africa, even though he never made it to the continent. But if you ask me, like, in terms of how Africa was promoted, now I can tell you that before it was true reggae music. Mm -hmm. Like, if you go to Jamaica, the reason why Jamaicans are still... Um, what do you call it? They still hold Africa. Mm -hmm. It's because of Bob Marley's music, mm -hmm. Hill Selassie going to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. But apart from that, I cannot tell you anything else again. Maybe you can tell me more mm -hmm. of what you know. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, 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 all right. So let me go back to the Gavi thing once again. Yeah. Because a lot of people I've spoken to, especially when I was in Jamaica, and when I when we finally met, people were like. Your legacy that you would look like Gavi, you know, <laughs> that you that is Gavi, you know, reincarnated and all that. You know, how how do you feel when people say you look like Marcos Gavi? And I want I, 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 I want to find out from you whether you, you have a plan of doing maybe a documentary about Gavi or something. Do you have something in the future line? Wow, you know, people. Telling me that I look like Gavi, it's sometimes scary, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's sometimes scary because if I do research, because yeah. to be honest, I yeah. didn't know who Marcus Gavi was mm -hmm. until people started saying that you look like Gavi yeah. and you're doing what Gavi did. Wow. So when I started doing my research, I'm like, please, man, like you can't compare a small boy like me with a camera to such a great man, yeah? I mean, it feels good to be compared in terms of his works that he did. But in terms of, um, I mean, I'm sorry about, like, 
his facial, mm-hmm. you know, how he looks like. Mm-hmm. But he talk about the works that Gavi did. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. I don't think I've even done 1% for me to be compared, you know, because I, I think he carried a lot on his shoulders. And I, I mean, I am doing my part, mm-hmm. but I don't think I'll be able to carry what Gavi carried. Maybe I'm, I mean, maybe I'm doing my thing in my own way. I might never know when I'm gone. I mean, people might be able to compare. But now that I'm here, please, just, I look like him. I mean, I want to be the great, maybe... I'm the great great grandson of Gavi, but not uh, reincarnated. I'm not, man. I'm not. But scary, man. It's scary. Um, people like to find out whether maybe in the near future you do something for Gavi. Maybe definitely. a documentary or something. Definitely, definitely. Because you see, I have been a big fan of Africans returning back to Africa. I've been a big fan of what can I do. Mm-hmm. To bring Africans to the continent, mm-hmm. you know, I was even looking forward partnering with the government in terms of if they can say that, oh, we want to pay like year of return. This mm-hmm. is what I was I was expecting to be mm-hmm. like, you know what? I think there's one thing that Africans living in Africa don't know that there are so many Africans living in Jamaica and the rest mm-hmm. that that cannot even afford a plane ticket to come here. Mm-hmm. So I was like, you know what? I wish. I mm-hmm. can do what Gavi did. Mm-hmm. Gavi wanted to reverse the Atlantic. Reversing the Atlantic is more like bringing Africans in the Caribbean, in the diaspora, back to Africa. Mm-hmm. But he wants to do that by owning, buying ship and doing it, right? But mm-hmm. I cannot buy ship right now. Mm-hmm. So if I can, if I can have, if I can have a partnership, advertise it. Mm-hmm. reverse Atlantic, mm-hmm. that would be one of my biggest goals, man. Like, I mean, this is what Gavi could not achieve. Mm-hmm. But what Amaya has done it. Mm-hmm. And I want to do that before I die. Trust me. Okay, like, guys, I'm saying this for yeah. the first time on your show. Yeah. In terms of bringing Africans in the diaspora, reversing the Atlantic. If it's a cruise ship, let's reverse it. Join us. Let's come to the motherland for the first time. Mm-hmm. But to do something about Gavi, probably that one will be the movie. <laughs> now, we'll, we'll use that as the movie because, I mean, Gavi got an interesting story. But mm-hmm. one of his biggest goals, he couldn't achieve it. I mean, I mean, whatever he did, mm-hmm. his biggest goal was to bring over four million African, 400 million Africans back to the continent. Mm-hmm. But he was not able to achieve that. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, if I would ever do, or if there's any story about Gavi and people want to, I mean, call me to do it, why not? But if in future I make more money and I'll be like, hey, let me do this movie for Gavi. I mean, the real life story of Gavi. Why not? That would uh, be amazing, man. All right. Now, what I've realized about a lot of Pan-African thinkers, people who have Africa, you know, at heart and all that, is that a lot of them, they don't, they don't marry from where they come from. Like maybe if, if, if you're from Ghana, you don't marry a Ghanaian, you understand me? You go to other country. You understand me? You know, to marry over there. I would like to find out from you, Woody Meyer, all the way from the Western region, from, from Western region, pop, pop, from here and there, you went to China to go to school, Kenya come guys. back and all that. You couldn't settle <laughs> anywhere than Kenya. Kilagazi. What you is know, the inspiration behind this? Kwame Nkrumah has been my biggest inspiration. Of course. And he was also from the Western region. Of course. <laughs> and if you want to follow the footsteps of Kwame Nkrumah, you definitely have to practice what you preach. I mean, I'm looking forward to see Africans coming together. How do we come together? Mm-hmm. Let's marry each other. I mean, I have all the beautiful women in here, yeah. but I was like, if I want to practice what I preach, yeah. why not go to another country? Mm-hmm. And that is how I ended up in East Africa. And I don't know if you recently saw a video about people talking about um, what they think about Ghana. Mm-hmm. Guess what? They said, all they know about Ghana is what am I marrying from Kenya? <laughs> you know, yeah. so Ghana and Kenya are mm-hmm. now in-laws. Mm-hmm. That's that's what love does, yeah? yeah? So it's about time. I mean, if you're a Pan-African, I don't think you have to marry from your own country, man. Say it. Because Africa is a country, not a continent. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, like, Lagazi, will you agree with me? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. You know, my I I hundred percent. You understand me? <laughs> hundred and ten percent agree with it. you. But 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 I would like to find out. Yeah. How 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 were you able to locate that beautiful flower in Kenya? I didn't even I didn't even meet her in Kenya. I met her at the capital of Africa. Where's the capital of Africa? 
Uh, ah, now I'm putting Kelagazi <laughs> to test. <laughs> Wait, wait, hey, let's let's ask the audience. Where, where is the capital of Africa? <laughs> um, capital of Africa. Yeah. Comment section. Comment section. Comment section. What's the capital of Africa? What is the capital of Africa? Easy. Is it Ethiopia? Ethiopia, Addis Ababa. <laughs> That's it. Ah, can <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Exactly. Oh, so, <laughs> someone says Ghana, Congo, Congo, please. Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, because the African Union mm -hmm. um, headquarters in, is in um, Addis Ababa, yes. I, I classify Addis Ababa as the capital of Africa. And that is where I started my movement of promoting Africa to the world. It started from Addis Ababa. And that was the first time that I also met my wife mm -hmm. from there. I mean, mm -hmm. I met her as a friend. And became girlfriend and boyfriend and yeah. Oh, so so uh, 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 Kilagazi. <laughs> how how did you locate her? So like, Kilagazi, let me give you a a, yeah. a a short story. Yeah. So I was sent by China in the year 2017 to Kenya. Mm -hmm. Um, I was sent to go make videos about um the trains that they have in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And when I got there, I got arrested. I got arrested because I was filming. Mm -hmm. And apparently you cannot film in this place. And I didn't know. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to be arrested again. So I started reaching out to everyone, like mm -hmm. especially content creators in the country, so that like they would know where to go, where not to go. Mm -hmm. So I tested my wife and mm -hmm. she never responded. Mm -hmm. And I left. So I left back to China and then I was in China living my life and she responded, Oh my goodness, I didn't see your message. I'm like, oh. I, I mean, I tested you because of this reason. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, are you coming back to Africa? I'm like, yeah, I'll be in Ethiopia on this particular day. And I got to Ethiopia. I asked her, are you coming? She said, no. I'm like, okay, suit yourself. I was there when she tested me that, okay, fine. I'm on my way. Right? <laughs> and um, as a guy from Ghana, if you tell me no, and later you come and tell me yes, I mean, I will also have to play a big boy a little bit. Yeah. So I was in my room. I was like, you know what? Why do I have to go to the airport to pick this lady? I just gave her my hotel mm -hmm. room number. If you ever come, just make it to my hotel. Yeah. But I was just there and I felt like, ah, this girl is coming all the way from Kenya to see you and you are acting like this. So guess what? I changed my mind, mm -hmm. book uh, a taxi to the airport. Mm -hmm. On my way to the airport, you know, Ethiopia is the land of flowers. Mm -hmm. So I bought flowers, fresh one from the roadside. Yeah. She didn't know I was coming because I told her to come and see me at the hotel. So wow. I was just there. Romantic man. Yeah, very romantic. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Ghana man. Yeah. <laughs> Ghana man. So I was just there waiting, waiting, waiting. And then she finally came out and I gave her the flowers. And she was like, you know what? This is actually my first time someone is giving me a flower. And I think the flower did all the magic. And mm -hmm. here we are today. And uh, there's one thing that I would tell people mm -hmm. they can learn from me. I mean, especially when you want to marry. Wedding is not an investment. Mm -hmm. Wedding is not an investment for you to go for loans, mm -hmm. spend so much money just to get married. Mm -hmm. I mean, we we had all the cash to do one of the best weddings, but we decided to keep it on a low key. I mean, we married with just a thousand dollars, both families mm -hmm. go to church, get prayed on, and here we are. So, if you're a young guy looking forward to settle down, talk to your 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 wife and tell your wife to be like hey wedding is not an investment so you don't have to spend all the money just to get married yeah invest uh, the money in something else invest the money in something else Easy. now because i'm a reggae selector yeah and i'm a reggae person yeah and i was sent to jamaica you know purposely you know to go break that kind of gap between ghana and jamaica yeah reggae wise um, I would like to focus on this. Mm. Like, you in Jamaica. You know, I want you to tell us, what are the similarities between Jamaica and Africa? It, because you have been to a lot of African countries. Okay. So, by by the behavior of a Jamaican, you can see that, ah, this guy, <laughs> he'll come, he, he, he might be from Nigeria. Yeah. You understand me? Oh, he might be from Ghana. And for that matter, maybe in the northern region. Yeah. Looking at how he's behaving yeah. and all that. What what are the similarities? See, um, I felt like going to Jamaica mm -hmm. changed a lot about myself. 
what are the way I see Africans in the diaspora. I mean, I found Africa in Jamaica, hands down. Like everything, the way of life. Mm -hmm. I mean, tro tro. Mm -hmm. You know how tro tro we say last one, last two. Yeah, Jamaicans yeah. we say one already, yeah. and it's a lie, man. Yeah. Like you know, when we say last one, last two, yeah. it means that <laughs> the bus is empty. Bus In is Jamaica, empty. they say one already, two already. Yeah. You know, and yeah. move. But if you check the bus. There's no one in there. Yeah. The way of life, I mean, excuse me to say, but um, I was on the road and someone yeah. was selling me medicine that will make you, uh, I mean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in Jamaica, in the street of Jamaica. Yeah. You know, someone was selling me that medicine, it, it's stronger than iron. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. This is exactly the same thing that, I mean, when you go to, there's a market. Coronation Market. Yeah. I don't know if you want yeah, to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you go to Coronation yeah. Market in Jamaica, mm -hmm. it looks like Makola. Uh, Mar it, for real. They eat rice and peas. Yes. That's how I watch it. Yeah. They eat, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, meat pie. Uh, what do you call it? They, call, they have a name for it. We have a, we, we call it meat pie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, um, uh, is it a uh, party or you? Party. Yeah. You know, so yeah. Jamaica was Africa. I mean, I'm not saying Jamaica was Ghana, it's just Ghana, but mm -hmm. I saw a bit of every African country mm -hmm. in Jamaica. I mean, Jamaicans are harsh like mm -hmm. Nigerians. Yeah. But if you see the way of life, it's like <laughs> Ghana. Mm -hmm. You get what I mean? When you talk about reggae music, you know reggae music, if you go to Kenya, reggae music is so big in Kenya. Mm -hmm. You get what I mean? So, I mean, when I went to Jamaica, I, 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 I felt like I was in Africa. I, I never saw myself... I mean, the streets of Jamaica. You were there, so yeah, you know of, what I'm... Of, of course, no, of course. Yeah, the street of Jamaica, I mean, like literally everything, the hospitality yeah. of the people. Yeah. If it was like a Ghanaian showing you that hospitality. So I'm just telling people, like, I now see the strong bond that we have. Mm -hmm. I mean, I went up to a place called Akompon Village. Yeah. And Akompon Village, we call it here, if it's in Ghana, we say Ak a cropon. A cropon. But they got the name a compon from a champon. Mm -hmm. But literally everything. I mean, a ben. Mm -hmm. Jamaicans call it a ben. Mm -hmm. So I saw Africa in there. And I just feel like, you know what? If I had the chance of G.O.D. is listening to me, mm -hmm. creating that investment in Guyana, mm -hmm. which is also, we got Africa in Guyana. Mm -hmm. we, can we start having direct flight? Can all the successful Ghanaians that we have mm -hmm. put their resources together and be like, you know what? We're going to buy an aeroplane. So, mm -hmm. Or even Magdan, if he's listening to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you can buy an aeroplane, one plane, mm -hmm. that goes to Jamaica and back. Just let's talk about every week. We go there once in a week. Mm -hmm. Do you know how many of us will be jumping on that plane of for course. a weekend in Jamaica and come back? He had a joke now. Thank you. I'm listening. Um, I, was, I, I was at home and then... I had a phone call. Hmm. My wife was like, yo, the God is calling you. I'm like, what do you mean? I said, yo, come off your phone now. I pick it up and, you know, it was like, look, as you come to my office right now. And then I went to the office and then I sat and I'm like, you have to go to Jamaica. And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and I'm like, he was like, I was checking the whole thing. I realized that you need a visa. And I'm like, how? You know, then I was, I was trying to, you know, give him the route oh, from Ghana to Belize. And he's like, there is no route like that. You have to either go to the UK or Europe or America. Mm. And by so doing, you need a transit visa. Yep. So that was where the whole thing, it was like my world was shut. I'm like, oh, Boris, when am I going to? And then he, he, he was like, start working on that quickly. You know, so I realized that, ah, I got the info that there is a direct flight from Nigeria to Jamaica. Mm. But in that particular time, making calls to Nigeria and all that, I realized that it was just some One stories. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, so I'm, I'm like, yo, how can this happen? You know what I mean? So, so, so I think what you're saying, if the, all the bigger heads can come together yep. as one and push this particular agenda, you know, because moving from Ghana to the UK, from UK to Jamaica, that doesn't make sense. It's like our money is still... That's what I, I told you earlier. Mm -hmm. It's still not free. If we cannot connect ourselves, 
then where's the freedom? Of course. The independence that we have is just a political one. Mm -hmm. We go and celebrate Independence Day every time, but are you really free? Because if you cannot connect your brothers and sisters without going through America and the U.S., you are not free. I mean, Definitely. have you been to Guyana? I mean, G.O.D. has established something in Guyana. Ask him why he established in Guyana. If you get to Guyana, mm -hmm. it's just Ghana out of Africa. Wow. Like, you know, uh, how many? You, you Fanti or you Ashanti? No. I'm, in in I'm, Fanti, I'm, I'm, in the, the Fanti. The, oh, okay. The Fantis, mm -hmm. we say Petwa. Mm -hmm. Petwa is more like um, a fish in, like, um, in lagoon. Mm -hmm. If you go to Guyana, mm -hmm. they call it the same thing. Abe. Mm -hmm. In Guyana, they call it Abe. Be. Like, Guyana is just Ghana. I mean, they even celebrate Ghana Day. Mm -hmm. When Ghana gained its independence, mm -hmm. if you go to Guyana, they used to celebrate Ghana Day. So it, it's just like, when you get to see all these countries and you realize that they have the connection back to the roots, but if, if they want to come here, it's a struggle, then what are we celebrating? That should have been the biggest motive behind the year of return. Mm -hmm. Like, after the whole celebration, if you are done, beyond the return, okay, beyond the return, let's establish something that will make it easy for our people to connect. You know, but now, till today. All right. We can't. Oh, God. Exactly 59 gone into the R. And trust me, my <laughs> producer is like, Lagazi, don't do the talking alone. Invite your listeners in. Oh, Invite your come. listeners let in. I'm like, all right, don't say a word, my boss. So let's go on the line right now. Listen, if you call it outside Ghana, prefix with the area code plus 233. If you are, if you are, if you want to call us outside Ghana, prefix with the area code plus 233. And these are the numbers. 0200 009 951. 0200-009-951 or 0594-157-777. 0594-157-777. We have the first caller on the line. Hello. Hello. And, um, hello. What is the name? Where are you calling from? Yeah. Hello. Hello. What is your name? Where are you calling from? Oh, um, I, 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 I can hardly hear you. If you can, you know, position yourself well and, and talk to me. I think it's clear now. Hello? Hello, is it clear now? Yeah, yeah, it's clear now. Well, what I'm saying is, in the last Oh, please, um, you have to, please, I'm sorry, you have to call us back Easy. and talk to us. I would like to say big respect to Travels, Mr. Emmanuel Kwaku of um, On Time Travel and Tours. You and your workers, or you say you are in tune, big respect. Hello. King. Bless her. what is the name, where are you calling from? Yeah, for sure, for sure. For sure, talk Coming to me. Coming from Addis Ababa, new flower exclusive haircuts and collection. Mm -hmm. Ah, King, mm -hmm. this conversation, mm -hmm. uh, uh, next week, let's have the conversation and let's, let, let it be started earlier than today. <laughs> because I was in the middle of the day, I was in the middle of the day, uh -huh. The man is speaking a lot of unity, a lot, a lot, a lot of peace and love. And see, I bet you two program mentions. The one by one, the one by one, the one by one. Next week, you know, you're in two conversations. Thank you very much. Let me go and let other person come. Oh. All right, respect. Uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I mean, if, if King Lagazi wants me back, why not? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Someone is on the line. Hello. Yes, hello. Bless her. What is the name? Where are you calling from? Yeah, my name is Tom Josman, and I'm calling from Kaswa. From Kaswa? Yes, please. I have Wodemaya in the studio. All right, so first of all, big ups to him. Um, I'm a young blogger that um, I get most of my inspiration from what he's doing, and it is not only me alone. I'm, 
I know so many young people out there that are doing, striving hard to get themselves there, and we see it to be our inspiration. For him to choose to advocate and also project the good things of Africa, that is a great thing. Unlike other people that they will focus on the negative, he saw the importance of Africa and the need for us to project it. And I think that one is a bigger thing, and we need to celebrate him how he's alive. With the uh, Jamaican Guyana story, I think it's a very positive move, and it shouldn't be only in Guyana. I believe there are so many African countries that we should, I mean, push that agenda. We still say there is independence, we are one people, but it seems there are so many barriers and there are so many things that divide us. So I think this is the time that our leaders will all come together. Some of our, I mean, prominent people in our continent will rally together and for us to push this agenda. And trust me, you won't just be one one people, but you go just beyond that. We will strengthen our relationship economically, uh, economically um, politically, and other factors. And trust me, there's so many benefits that comes along it. So mm. first of all, kudos to you two for doing the good works. And trust me, um, we learn a whole lot of stuff from you. And we believe moving forward, when you people advocate, since you have the voice, you have the bigger platform, we know our leaders will listen and they will act in accordance to us. Once again, I'm Kobe Josvan. I'm a young blogger and social influencer. So thank you so much and God bless you. No, God bless All you. All right. That Give was a beautiful, that yeah. was a beautiful message. Of man. course, of course. Really beautiful. All message. right. Someone is on the line. Hello. Hello. Bless her. What is the name? Where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Lloyd Fitness. Calling from Adenta. All right. We have Woody Meyer. Yeah. I'm just going to give you guys thumbs up. But I feel the time span for this show is too short because Kobe has too much to share <laughs> when we are looking at the perspective of youth. And you know, the youth are like the, uh, 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 the pivots of the country. Yeah. When you look at the bell shaped pyramid, when the youth pyramid falls, everybody's going down. Mm -hmm. And Maya is doing an amazing work to hold the youth pyramid down. Now it's left to the ones we are looking up to, which are the older generation, to spearhead this thing well for us. Because he can't do it all alone. They are, they are overlooking it as if they don't know he exists in this country. But when he goes out there, other countries treat him like a president because they know what the guy is carrying. Why can't our leaders put their ego aside and embrace this young man, and we push forward. It's, 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 it's really a headache. At times we sit down, he knows, we sit down, I'm like, Kobe, why are they overlooked? Hmm. It, it, he like I said, let's, yeah. let's, let's have this conversation again. But this time, <laughs> let's talk about Africa with Udemaya. This right. guy has a lot. <laughs> All right, <laughs> respect. No, no, it's like they want to have the whole show. <laughs> I gave Woody Maya one PM. You ah, understand me? Ah. And then you know he was like, "Oh, the time! I thought it was three o'clock." I said, "No, please, no." Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, like I had to wake up yeah. just to check my phone again, and I'm like, "I saw your message at one PM." I'm like, "What do you mean one PM?" Because <laughs> you know when you, I used your the time when I was at the airport. Yeah. Said, oh, the show is after three PM. So I tell like. It was just a 3 p.m. show. Yeah. So I, I was even lucky I woke up to, I would have missed the show today. <laughs> I am so hey. sorry, but I'll be back. I'll be, of I'll, course. I'll be back. I'll so, be back. Woody Maya is a family now. And yeah. trust me, you know, he's so much interested in the growth of the youth. So any, anything concerning the growth of the youth in Africa, he is in there. You understand me? And he's super, super, super busy. Yo, Bridget. Yo. Uh, Okay, like I said, like, <laughs> you know, I get I get busy because of yeah. the burden that I carry, and I feel like um, I don't I, we don't get the support that we're looking for, mm -hmm. so we do everything all by ourselves, you know, because what we're doing is for the betterment of the continent. I mean, if I walk in Accra, I see people who came to invest in Ghana mm -hmm. because of a video that I did, but mm -hmm. we don't we don't get the support. Do you get what I mean? So we have to work hard mm -hmm. to be able to afford all the flight ticket, to be able to serve um, the audience that are watching us because I'm not ready to dilute what I want to preach mm -hmm. with a handout. I'm not ready to dilute what I'm doing with a brand telling me that I cannot wear my shorts. Mm -hmm. I mean, I want to be free like a bed yeah, and say sky. whatever I want to say. <laughs> I, 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 I don't want to, I don't want to, like, I'm not interested in any political kind of thing. Yeah. If you tell me, hey, 
this is for Ghana. Mm -hmm. We want to send you go and do it. If there's no political attachment, mm -hmm. what am I is 100% hands down. I mean, I went to Suriname. Mm -hmm. Oh, a big shout out to, I mean, I don't know if I got people from Suriname listening to mm -hmm. me right now. Yeah. It's one country that I adore, I cherish. I mean, I was there and I felt like I was in Ghana. Mm -hmm. I don't know if, you should check out my Suriname videos, man. And I can't wait to go back. Mm -hmm. This is, it's, it's time, you know? I just feel like if our leaders can understand what we're doing, that the things that you've been talking about, mm -hmm. let's bring Africans together. We, because social media is now here and we're doing it. Whether you like it or not, whether you accept us or not, mm -hmm. we're doing it. I mean, my audience are bringing over 10 people mm -hmm. from the diaspora. Mm -hmm. No one is paying anything. We are funding everything by ourselves. We, we decided to do it ourselves. Wow. To bring them to experience the motherland for the first time. It's very important because... I mean, I was expecting the year of return to be like this or beyond the return to be like this. Mm -hmm. I mean, what are, where are the profits that we made from the beyond the return? Let's give back to the people who cannot afford to experience the motherland for the first time. Let their feet touch the soil. Mm -hmm. I have a lot to tell you. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, traveling, traveling in Africa, yeah. it's more like traveling in hellfire. Wow. I had a brawl, I had a fight, you know, I mean, yeah. I had a fight at yeah. Togo border. And guess what? Whenever you experience certain issues as an African, they don't even, I mean, you talk about it and it's one of those. But then let's say, let the white person experience the same thing. You mm -hmm. see African leaders acting up like, oh, because this person was white and he experienced this at the border, they tend to fire the police officer that took the bribe. They've been taking bribes from Africans every single day. You're right. Then nothing has been done. Like, I don't know if you, when I was going to Ivory Coast. Yeah. God. Ivory like, Coast. I, when I was, West. I was going to Ivory Coast. Yo. Like, I, I was like, who forced me to drive to Ivory Coast? I, I've used the plane directly. I mean, I spent a lot of money just paying bribes at the border because they said, if I don't pay it, I'm not moving. At the end of the day, I had to pay because anytime you start to talk about how they treat you at the border, people mm -hmm. tend to be like, you're making our countries look bad. But that is not the case. We just want to change. I mean, the Kenyan president was in Ghana recently. Mm -hmm. Why is he here? It's to strengthen the relationship between Ghana and Kenya. But guess what? This guy gave a speech that he's giving visa free for Ghanaians. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Now, I cannot even go to Kenya without applying for visa. Does the president know that? Does the foreign minister aware of that? Is the foreign minister aware of that? Is G.O.D. aware of that? <laughs> that if I have an emergency, I cannot go to Kenya without applying for ETA. And I have to pay $32 to enter Kenya. But when, he's, when he was coming to Ghana, he never paid for anything. These are the borders that keep us separating Africans. And it's about time Africans get to know that these borders were not created by them. They were created by the colonizer. <laughs> when the colonizer was creating it, no African was there. I was in Berlin. No African was <laughs> there when they were creating this border. So why are we keeping it now? Oh, God. Yo, ah, <laughs> we'll, we'll have a three-hour conversation <laughs> next time, man. <laughs> no. Um, 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 Benjamin Ofe Ado, you know, our, our proper, you know, um, boss in here, who is in charge of, you know, finance and all that says, yo, hat one, you know, Maya Putin, Africa agenda at the front banner. Respect and manners. You, you, you don't know no man. Yeah, man. Black Rasta says he is listening and everything is all right. And he can't wait to meet you in person to talk about Kuchoko. You don't know, <laughs> man. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, um, Kofi Nyako Ohipeni says, Ask Woody Meyer about an advertisement on his Facebook wall for script writers. Um, what is that? So uh, I felt like I need to improve my storytelling approach. Mm -hmm. And uh, I am getting tired. I feel mm -hmm. like I'm getting old now. <laughs> 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 so it's more like um, I'm trying to also employ more people in terms of um, for us to improve on our storytelling approach. Mm -hmm. So we put out a, a flyer just mm -hmm. to, I mean, employ people who have passion to tell stories, mm -hmm. write a script, 
and all they do is that they write a script and then they send it to me and then I deliver true videos because I don't want to stress myself again mm -hmm. by because I don't write scripts. Mm -hmm. Everything that I do, I go to the place, I get inspired and I get it done. But now it's like you need to tell stories from different countries and I, I have to sit down and do research about all these countries. So I am looking for someone. If I'm going to Botswana, before I get there, the person has done the research, everything. everything. So when I get there, even though I'm inspired to do whatever I'm doing, but I'm also going to use the script from the script writer. So I told my team, I am getting tired of everything coming from my head, so they should help me out. So that's why they put the flyer, okay. just to get me someone. So wow. yeah, I think a lot of applications have come in, and I uh, will try as much as possible to get three people to join the team. All right, three people to join the team. Yeah. yeah being on Woody Myers' team, there's big thing. <laughs> Yeah, man. So, um, Chichi Dudu Jerry, all the way from Hohwe in the Volta region, says, loving the, loving every moment of the conversation. Big up, King, and respect to the African Messiah. Wow, wow, wow. All right. So, my my producer says, let's pick three more calls. Yo, the phone a ring and ring and ring, and the man are telling me, say, like, I say, pick up the call, pick up the call. And at the same time, Woody Maya is talking. I'm just here yes, yeah, and cut him and all that. But everything good. So, um. Uh, Three more calls and then we're done with Wood Meyer for today. But he will come back again for us to sit down and have, you know, serious conversation about Africa. Someone is on the line. Hello. Hello, Ken. Blessed. What is the name? Where are you calling from? Yeah, this is Latia again. I don't know why the line is like that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, what I was trying to say is that you people are both created me to help Ghana. And you people are doing very, very well. And what I would say is that uh, you will get a lot of people come to you. I, for instance, I'm also a regular musician, and I will pray to meet you people. But when we come to you people, oh, you tell us that you are busy, you are busy, then we will go back and we won't come back again. We, I, I, I beg you to think that when we come, always keep it in your heart that you will. I know that you people are strange, but that's the way for you people to beat up all right give thanks okay so um hmm. so when i when i step jamaica then i saw on facebook that oh legacy try and meet woody meyer i'm like all right no problem so quickly i i i went on his facebook page and then i saw a number over there and then i i sent a whatsapp message to the number bridgings when i met woody meyer in person he showed me that phone and the kind of messages on that phone when he opens it it kind of freezes you know so so you know i i get to understand a lot of things it, it's like myself my instagram inbox facebook inbox yo brother my email <laughs> my email it is not a joke thing Easy. Yeah. Yeah. it is not a joke thing so um if you say so you know we'll try yeah man Give right. thanks, and that's well, why, I like, any time I get opportunity, I apologize to people who think that they've been sending messages and, like, I bet <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> uh, oh God! So, um, um, okay, uh, we have a call over here from Sweden. Mm, blessed. Hello. Hello. All right. Easy. All right, we give thanks and praise to the Almighty. Everything is everything, everything good. You know, my, <laughs> yo, my, my, my technical person on duty is, 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 is putting all it takes together. You understand me? <laughs> yeah, man. Big respect to man like Easy. Joseph Amma. Hey, you want to do what? You, you want to use this? All right. Just go ahead and use it, man. All right? And it can work? You sure? You sure about that? From Sweden, right? Okay. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hello? He yeah, hello? Yeah, hello. Yeah, I can hear you. This is Albert calling. Yeah, yeah, Albert, I can hear you loud and clear. Talk to me, Albert. Oh, 
Kilagazi. Yeah, man, Albert, talk to me. Yes, yes, I'm enjoying your program. Big up to you all, you and Wademaya. Give thanks. Yes. Kilagazi, I have a question for Wademaya. Mm -hmm. uh, and my question is, um, what Wademaya suggested was a, was a very good, you know, um, uh, initiative. It's really, it's got this a big vision for, you know, connecting um, the, you know, and what is it? Is it, what, what do we call it? This uh, uh, Guyana, Jamaica, and whatever to the continent mm -hmm. in Africa. And that's a great one. But Wademaya, he's got connections to this Ethiopia Airlines. He wants us to go and buy a plane and all that. That's a very good idea. Mm -hmm. Why don't he put up a fund, a, 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 a fund, okay, now, I want all, every subscriber or whoever is interested, maybe come up with this sum of money. Let's purchase one air flight, air flight from, let's say, Jama uh, the Ethiopian Airlines. They yeah. have a lot of airlines. <laughs> they can do this service. Wow. Would well, they might have connection to these people? He can do this. People are ready to put on this one dollar here, two dollar, three dollar, three dollar, just to connect these things. Because at the end of the day, we're trying to make our own. Soon, this KLM and all this uh, British Airways, all this soon, they will not bring us to Africa again because these African young leaders are getting kicking all this uh, France and all this away from the continent. They will also say they will not bring us to to to, to the continent again anymore because they own they own all these planes. Hmm. So what the Maya, if he really means what he's saying, a lot of millions of people like me have this same idea. Put up a phone, let all everybody contribute. And by this, in he should take the initiative. Wow. What Ethiopia Airlines? Hey, look, we want to buy an F uh, airline. What do we do? And How do we go about us. it? What are the mm. uh, you know uh, cons and pros or whatever it is? But the man know all this. So my question is: Is he able to do that? <laughs> all right, all right. Well, I I will let you know. I think that that's a that's a great idea. I I, I never looked it from that angle, but uh, an incredible suggestion, man. We'll take it from there. I think. Uh, I will have to um, go to Utopia, ask those questions, and I'll get back to you. We're waiting to All right. Thank you. All right, Albert. Albert, thank you so much for calling. Right. Right. All right. Give right. thanks. Thank you. Big up. Big up. Legacy. All right. Every time. Bless. Give I thanks. I never thought I can one day Easy. own a plane with people's money. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought. Oh, that was a good oh, suggestion. Oh, my man. God. <laughs> um, he said you know everything. You understand me? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and... and I like how, you know, uh, people put it, you understand me, mm. you know, you know everything, you understand me, and you have all the connections, you have all the pipelines laid already and all that. So I, I, I am still learning and I'm, <laughs> I'm still meeting new people. So yeah, I mean, that was a good suggestion, but yeah. the thing is like when it comes to money, it's a bit sensitive for me, like when you're coming out to tell people to donate so that you can buy a plane. <laughs> I didn't know I can own a plane with people's money. Huh? <laughs> but I, I mean, that's a good one. That's yeah. a good one. So, I mean, I, I, I will look forward to working towards it. All right. Yeah. So, um, in wrapping up, what exactly does Wudemaya have in the future line? Whew. So, For Africa. Listen, I am... Um, Hoping to see a borderless Africa. Mm -hmm. Big shout out to Kobe Che. He's listening right now. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of borderless Africa because I feel like an African is an investor in Africa. When it comes to investor, an African don't see a fellow African as an investor. And it's about time for us to break all those barriers, for us to start connecting one another. It's about time for us to start marrying each other. It's about time for us to do business in each other's country. I don't think a Nigerian should be a foreigner in Ghana. I don't think a Ghanaian needs to be a foreigner in South Africa because after traveling to over 30 countries in Africa, for me, Africa is a country. I mean, if United States of America has done it, why not United States of Africa? I mean, we are about to embark on one of the biggest journey. Um, I know that I've not said this anywhere. And mm -hmm. um, I'll tell... Um, King Lagazi yes. behind the scene. Yes, sir. But we are embarking on a journey that will uh, amplify the borderless Africa very soon. And it's a journey that I believe that the entire continent will be following. And it's coming up very soon because I, I, I can't put it out here for now because of the stakeholders involved. But anyway, it is what it is. The biggest goal is to see a borderless Africa someday. A borderless Africa someday. All right. So, um... 
Let me read this one coming from Africa to Kofi in Kroma, all the way from oh. the Czech Republic. He said, um, talking about how Africa was promoted before the age of social media, please ask Wodemeyer if he can, if he, he ever heard of elders like Bafo um, Ankama, former editor of the UK based New African magazine, mm. and also Nana Echaba Adaisebo the founder of the Black History Month in the UK. These are some great elders I suggest for him to meet someday and mm. have conversation with. That would be amazing. I mean, I, I would be so happy to connect with them because all the people that you mentioned, never heard of them, but I would love to read about them. Would I, And even if they are alive, why not? All of them are alive. Why not? And I have linked to all of them too. No, that's connect me. Are they in Ghana or out of Ghana? <laughs> um, I think um, Adai Sibo is in Ghana. Okay. You know, he, and he, he was on our show last year, right? Okay. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah, man. So from Africa too, speaking to me right now, he's got all the numbers. And he himself, you know, he's a great Pan-African thinker. You know, I met him in Nkrofu, I think 2007. Mm. And f he gave a speech. And I was at the back, and I'm like, oh, what is this? Yeah. And from that time till now, we've been in touch, you understand me? And he's, he's giving me a lot of books to read and all that kind of thing, and I appreciate that. No, you thank don't you. know, man. So um, I'm going to create a link, you understand Please me? Do. Yeah, Please man. do. Please I'm going to create a link so that we take it from there. Woody Meyer, I would like to say thank you so much. But before I leave you finally, <laughs> I have a song to play for you. Okay. Because your wife is a Kenyan. All right. And uh, this is... This band is a gospel reggae band from Kenya. Hmm. And they are Chundem band. And this song is entitled Nainama. I don't know whether you understand it. I don't. I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't speak so uh, All right. <laughs> all right <laughs> so stick up in and let me play that. Oh, I'm here. Before we go. Easy. This is Chundem band. And this one is for you. Miss Trudy from Woodemeyer. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> hey. I thought the real girl.
Swahili is just a beautiful language, I'm man. telling you. I can't wait to speak Swahili, man. Me, 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 Maya. Oh, God. Oh, God. I, I, I don't understand it fully. Oh, okay. But trust me, you know, I, I love the rhythm. You know, even though I don't understand the words fully, mm. this is reggae music. Yep. You, you know what I mean? It is the main reason why... We are kind of pressing on hard in Ghana. Mm. Reggae people are suffering. They don't want us to give. They don't want to give us the blight. Mm. We are not part of the 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 the, the, the national cake. Reggae people are always sidelined. What do you need to step in for us? <laughs> <laughs> ah, we, I, I guess we need more reggae artists. We need, we need more reggae artists. We have uh, more reggae artists. Uh, but I think it's about time to start making more noise about reggae music. In of course. You know what I mean? I think it's it, the genre. Most of us know the genre to be more Jamaican. Mm -hmm. You know, so we can we can make noise. Let's make noise about All it. All right. Let's I'll, like after here, I think you should send me more of uh, the reggae artists in Ghana that you think I need to check them out. All right. I would definitely. Uh, all right. No yeah. problem at all about that. No yeah. problem at all about that. Yeah. We give thanks. Woody, I would like to say thank you so much for coming. And uh, uh, people are requesting that we should, we should, we should, we should, we should do this again and yeah. we should do that again. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm in Ghana the whole of April. So we did April. Why not? Just, um, Let's see if another Sunday in right. April we can make it happen. All right, all right, yeah. Woodman, thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. My name is King Lagazi. On behalf of the production crew, Naro Bawa, Empress the Bidei, Junior Maestro, Benedict Jaffe's, Bob Africa, I would like to say thank you so much. Our technician on duty, Joseph Ama. Give thanks to all. You know, I have a lot of messages on Facebook that I couldn't read them. You know, forgive me, my Facebookers. You understand me? I love and appreciate you guys so much, you know, for your continuous support. You know what I mean? And trust me, it was it was a great feeling, you know, having Woody Meyer today. And, you know, his times are a bit, you know, limited and all that kind of thing. So sometimes it's a, it's a bit grippy for him to move and all that. But everything good and everything is all right. We'll be here next week to serve God and country. If you say a prayer, say one for Africa. Because we need the whole of Africa to come together as one. But in all, member. You see, if you ask them, then, 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 we need money too. You understand me? So please. Um, Mungu system, Nimuna, what you say, Naskan and Sombra. My name is King Lagas. I'm living in the hands of Akle, the, the daughter of Daddy Ahuma Okanse Befalo Bosco. You know, this is money from Revolution Records. And remember, Akle on the 19th, he's coming out with you know an EP. You understand me? You know, and and would you mind if, if you are in town, I'll, I'll personally, you know, um, throw an invite to you. For you to come over and listen to this EP, okay. yeah, yeah, man, you know. So if 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 you have time, you understand. Or it's it's on the nineteenth of April, you understand me, you know. Yeah, okay. yeah man. Oh, all, all of us are supporting just, this reggae course now. Yeah, just send me a message and I will make it happen. Ah, all right, all right, yeah. all right. Give yeah. thanks, give thanks, yeah. give thanks. My name is King Lagazi and Megan. Aye, aye, aye.